I had known my friend Barry for years. We'd gone through thick and thin, highs and lows. So as I walked into our favorite cafe that evening, nothing could have prepared me for the conversation we would soon have. I'll have my usual, please, with extra sea salt. Oh, hi, Barry. Hey, Thomas. What's wrong, bud? Well, I've been praying recently, and I haven't really felt or heard anything from Jesus. It's hard to tell if he's there at all, so I'm feeling kind of lost. Lost? That's all I needed to hear before going full detective mode, ignoring any prior context that was mentioned, and launching into a musical number that no one asked for. Come on, Barry. I'll help you find what you lost. You gotta search high and low. You gotta look far and wide. You gotta open every box to see if it's inside. Once you've covered every corner, you eliminate all doubt. Um, Thomas. Don't say another word. I know it must be hard to talk about. Together we'll unearth it. I'll help you cause you're worth it. I'll find this thing you're missing, whatever it is. As the night plowed on, so did I. I wouldn't rest till I helped Barry find what he lost. In that process, I may have lost Barry himself, but I chanced upon an interesting lead. Barbara Bagsheep. <gasps> Thomas! What, what are you doing here in the middle of the night? And why do you look like the Monopoly Man? A crime has been committed, Barbara. A crime? In my neighborhood? That's right. Whatever could it be? Playing coy will not help your case, Babs. Coy? But I don't even know what that means, Thomas. I know you stole from your brother, Barbara. I would never steal from Barry. What is he missing anyway? I'm not a hundred percent sure. You don't know what you're accusing me of stealing? No, but as his sister, you had the greatest access to his belongings. Well, yes, but... Yes, but what? Why would I ever steal from my brother when I love him? Love. I'd heard about that before. What was it again? God. God is love. The same love we have for our family, for our friends, for the kind stranger that helps us when we need a hand. Even when the tears flow and the clouds block out the light, it's love that comforts, that heals, that finds. And it's when we're lost that we need that love most of all. Are you okay? You've been staring at the wall for the past two minutes. Oh, I have to go. Thank you for aiding me in this investigation, Barbara. You're welcome. Barry, I got it. You found what I was missing? No, but talking to Barbara made me realize something. I haven't been acting with love. But you've put in so much effort to trying to help me. I was doing it for myself. I was so excited to put on a hat and a monocle that I never even stopped to even find out what you were missing. So, I'm sorry. Oh, Thomas, you may not have known it, but you did help me find what I was missing. I did? I was trying to tell you that I felt lost because I couldn't feel God's presence. But seeing and feeling the love that you and Barbara have for me, I realize now that that's where God is present, in that love. Well, that's just wonderful. 
I love you, buddy. I love you too, friend. And so the mystery's at its end. Solved by a friend. All thanks to the love we receive from God above. No, we don't find God in boxes or in the overhead compartment of a jet. We find him in the hearts of the people we love and others we haven't met. And if there's one thing I can promise, I see him in you, Thomas. I guess the real mystery at the end of the day are the friends, friends we made along, along the way. Love of God.